Jeff, you have got to be one proud coach this week. Two of your former players earned Super Bowl rings this week. No, I couldn't be more happy for uh, Jason Kelsey, our starting center for the Eagles. And uh, I talked to him the week before the Super Bowl, and you know, he felt really good about what they their plan. I felt good about how the coaches were preparing for this game against a really, really good football team in the Patriots. And you know, but he said, Coach, when you watch me and everybody watching me, you're going to see something that nobody ever seen before, and that is the kind of play at the center position uh, that affords them to win that key game, and that's what he showed me. And of course, congratulations to you on becoming the offensive line coach at the University of Notre Dame. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means everything, you know, having the trust and the confidence and, you know, Father Jenkins, the president, and Jack Swarbrick, our athletic director, and, and Coach Kelly and Chip Long, our offensive coordinator, and, and even the players, you know, it, it, it means an awful lot to me knowing that uh, for the last three years I've been here uh, engrossed in the offense and, and developing uh, our football team, both as an analyst and also in the strength and conditioning area. Um, what an exciting time for me in this offensive line as we continue to move forward for the 2018 season. Season. And you just touched on it. Normally in these interviews, I'm talking about the transition the coach has to go through taking a position with a new program, but you've been here the last three years. So how is that going to help you? Because you've already been on the staff. Well, sitting in those meetings every day with Chip and the offensive staff here and, you know, exactly how we want to plan against certain defenses and the terms and the structure of our schemes and so on and so forth and, and how he wants things done offensively. It was, uh, yeah, it was a seamless transition up into this point. We still need to get out there and get with the players and, and get ready for spring ball, but and I feel real good. I, st I spent, uh, you know, last three years, but the last year with Chip uh, in terms of studying his system of offense and how he wants things structurally uh, executed. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time, and uh, that'll be a good thing for our offensive linemen, knowing that we're going to keep that continuity and that consistency that has brought them so much uh, success with our offense. And you've worked with Coach Kelly for 24 years. How does that help? Well, Coach Kelly and I have go back uh, back when he first started uh, his days as a, as a first-time head coach. You know, and so every single game that he uh, was coaching uh, as a head coach at Grand Valley and then we moved down to Central Michigan and Cincinnati, uh, we knew each other uh, and he, each other's uh, uh, tendencies, as you'd like to say maybe, and also what he expected out of that position group. And we were always on the same page, whether it was on the field or off the field and recruiting, uh, you know, program development, uh, the traits of excellence, all these things all, uh, you know, uh, were very, very important. And that's what I took when I left to go to Buffalo too. You're taking over a line that had a heck of a year. They won the Moore Award. You also have the challenge of replacing a couple of guys in Nelson and McGlinchey who are probable first round NFL picks, but you got a lot of talent coming back. So what are you going to do and what does this line and you need to do to maintain that level of excellence that this line achieved last year? Well, to, to be the, the next coach of the offensive line here at the University of Notre Dame and take over a position group that was recognized by the Joe Moore Award uh, is quite an honor, you know, and the, that's very, very important. That's what motivates me each and every single day uh, to replace Mike McGlinchey and Quentin Nelson. You know, that standard that they put out there each and every day, not just on the field, but in, in our winter condition that we're in right now. And as we continue through the process, I was there when they were uh, three years ago, when they were just kind of getting going. Not a lot, you know, people recognized them, but didn't know how good they could be. And I watched them each and every single day. The work ethic and the determination uh, that they showed and displayed every day that leadership was critical and now you see where they're at now those are the guys that Sam Mustafer and Alex Bars have been with and, and see uh, how important that is for them to continue that legacy and that tradition in that room and so there's a high standard that has been set here at the University of Notre Dame and and we respect that and we need to fulfill that obligation each and every day probably nothing more important than football than controlling the line of scrimmage. And with the schedule Notre Dame plays, it's even more important. So when this football team takes the field for the first game against Michigan this fall, what can fans expect to see from the offensive line? Well, I want to see that first play and that last play. I don't want, when I want to flip on that film and I see the last series of the game, I want to see the same thing in the first series. Uh, we want to be relentless in our attack for four quarters and 60 minutes and recognizing what defenses are trying to do to take away things that we want to consider as our strength, and that's run the ball. Uh, being able to sustain that through the course of 60 minutes is really the, the go-to mentality that we're going to have. 
And to be able to do that, you have to sustain that effort to the echo of the whistle. And that's the one thing people are going to see. These guys are going to get after it, just like they've uh, witnessed all the way up and through this point. Uh, they're going to see that continue, and I'm excited about getting going. I'm excited about watching you get going. Congratulations again, Jeff. Thank you, Jack. Thank you.